Cause I saw a tiger Now I understand I saw a tiger And the tiger saw a man Oh, what the plush? Can't even take a shower before my show starts. I bet this is my joke of an assistant calling. Come on, Mr. Scoffer, answer the call. I'm sure he didn't like this awful documentary called Tiger King. And I have an idea how to make our denouncement episode better. Hey, finally, Mr. Scoffer, sir. What? Our show starts in 20 minutes. Can you survive without me till that moment? I'm so sorry for bothering you, but I wanted to share the unbelievable news! I don't want to hear about anything but my new episode. I'm busy doing my makeup. Can't you see that? Oh, my apologies, sir, but this is about the upcoming episode. Remember I told you I was selected as a member of the World Puppet Animal Protection Organization? World Puppet what? World Puppet Animal Protection Organization, sir. No, I don't remember that, obviously. Well, anyway, I agreed with my good friends from the organization to promote the voice of animal protection in today's episode. Yippee! For puppet's sake, what the heck is that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, it means we can speak to people about the problems that tigers have. Because there are approximately 4,000 tigers who live in the wild. And at the same time, there are about five to 7,000 tigers that still live in captivity in the USA. Whatever you say. But this is horrible. And Netflix didn't really focus on these facts too much in its documentary. We should clear things up in our upcoming Denouncing Hollywood episode. Oh, hush, Mr. Funny Lover. Please, I am not going to denounce anything today. You... you're not? Nope. But why not? Heh, <laughs> you've actually decided to ask. How unexpected. Because yesterday, I finished watching Tiger King. And I have to admit that it's absolutely hilarious. Wait, what? Yes, for puppet's sake, I love the show. To some degree or another, it's genius. It expressly confirms how much modern people are obsessed with watching scandals and feuds. Well. And do you want to hear a funny thing about it? Um, maybe? If I saw the events of Tiger King in a movie, I would never believe any of these things actually happened. A gay cowboy, Joe Exotic, who owns a zoo with more than 200 tigers and other big cats, starts a war against a woman who has her own zoo with big cats, and who is suspected of killing her husband and feeding his body to tigers. Ha 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 ha! Truth is always stranger than fiction. Wow, I didn't think you'd be so excited about Tiger King, sir. This is kind of unexpected to me. But anyway, um, may I please say a few words about the tiger protection system in our show tonight, sir? Our show? Well, first of all, this is still my show. Second of all, no, you may not say a few words about the animal protection system. But why not? Because my show is not about hyping politics and ecology. I hate hype. My show is all about movies. But Mr. Scoffer, sir, this isn't about hyping things up. It's super important to me. I promised my friends from the World Puppet Animal Protection Organization I'd speak about the tiger's problems. And third of all, the only thing I'm going to talk about today is that Tiger King is genuinely the best documentary of the decade. Oh, no. This is bad. Having said that, it's time for me to leave you on your own. Because I still haven't finished my makeup, as you can see. See you in 15 minutes. Sir, please! I really need to say a few words about tigers! I can't believe this is happening! I promised my friends I'd speak about the tiger saving programs! I have to pursue Mr. Scoffer, whatever it takes! What now? Wow! You look handsome, Mr. Scoffer, sir. Of course I do. Um, I, I just wanted to clarify one tiny thing. I'm listening. Uh, um, the show to Tiger King is good. It's brilliant. Right. It's okay. Marvelous. Tremendous. Uh-huh. The thing is that 
It all started with tigers. And, well, I was expecting to hear a story about the animal world and how it's affected by humans. But the show ended up being about human vices only. So what? It's fine. It's, it's totally fine, sir. But eh, maybe we can talk a little bit about the animal rights issue? I have a list of short questions that I wanted to raise today. Who do you think you are, Mr. Furry Lover? Do you consider yourself Carol Baskin or something? Uh, pardon me? Classic. <laughs> you remind me of those people that Tiger King speaks about. People who think they take care of animals, while the only thing they care about is themselves. You're being unfair, sir. Oh, really? Why won't you then do something real to help the poor animals? But this is exactly what I'm trying to do! By being World Puppet Protection's talky-talky? It's World Puppet Animal Protection, sir! Huh, whatever. If you want to hype on, then go create your own show instead of using mine. Mr. Scoffer, sir, why are you so mean? Because my show starts in less than one minute, and you keep annoying me! But I thought that we'd be on the same page! That finally we've picked a horrible show to denounce, but for some reason, you're enjoying it?! Because it's a masterpiece! No, it's not! It's debasing! None of these zoo people, except for John Reinke, Eric Cowie, and Saf, treat the cats well! The only thing they care about is money! <laughs> of course it's all about money, you silly puppet! That's why this show is so interesting! It's a Game of Thrones in the world of tigers and dunes. The big cats are only an exotic background for the big showdown between Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin. Do you think that the audience of this show cares about animals? <sighs> well, I do care, Mr. Scoffer! This is very personal to me, and I've never asked you for anything before! I just want two minutes of your show to speak about an issue that is important to me! Your assistant! It's your job, Mr. Foley Lover. And whether you like it or not, you must do whatever I want. Uh, and uh, what if I don't? Say that again. What if I don't do whatever you want, sir? Huh. I think I understand now why you don't like Tiger King. Why is that? Because it reminds you of our working relationship. <laughs> That's right. I own you, Mr. Fully Lover. You're part of my show. To some degree or another, I am the Puppet King. I am Alcott Exotic. And you are not even Carol Baskin. You're just a regular tiger in the cage. I... Uh, I have never been more offended in my life! Challenge accepted. Oh, plush, the show starts in five seconds. Put down that stupid billboard! No! I said put it down now! No! People should know the truth! Oh, for puppet's sake! <clears throat> Greetings. My name is Alcott Scoffer, and I denounce Hollywood movies because I've never made one, and hating is always easier than creating. Today, I'm going to review the Netflix miniseries called Tiger King. Murder, mayhem, and madness. Are you going to pretend I'm not here? I'm trying my best, but unfortunately, it's impossible to ignore you. Dear viewers, surely you remember my dearest assistant, Mr. Fully Lover. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens! Right. That was the worst Carol Baskin impersonation anyone could imagine. Let's start our episode with the most important question everybody has after watching the show. Did Carol Baskin really kill her husband and feed his body to the tigers? Wrong! Tigers can't eat a human body entirely. The bones would be left anyway. Maybe she didn't feed his body to cats, but she still could kill him, right? That's a good question to discuss. The better question to discuss is why people love to concentrate on horrible insinuations. <clears throat> You're ruining the show. 
I won't stop until you let me talk about the tigers. Oh, you plushy piece of... Maybe Carol Baskin wasn't the one who killed her husband, but she definitely was the one who got all the benefits from his death. Anyways, another nagging question you probably had while watching the show is if Joe Exotic is any better than Carol Baskin. Nope, they're all the same. Same as Doc Antle and Jeff Lowe. They only care about money. What are you doing? You answered that one too fast, puppet. I wanted to discuss the question with the audience. But what I like about Netflix is that it doesn't judge anyone. Netflix lets the viewers judge characters on their own. Wow! That's what all documentaries do. <clears throat> there is another interesting question about Joe Exotic and his musical albums. Did you notice how different his real voice is compared to his songs? Everyone noticed that. He can't sing. His songs are fake. Stop this nonsense immediately! Stop what? Ruining my... Oh, whatever. Why am I even talking to you? I can easily mute you. Ah, <sighs> much better. Anyways, let's move on to the audience's questions. Amazing! We already have a call. Good afternoon. Tell us your name. Sup, I'm Bob. Nice to meet you, Bob. Let me hear your question for us. Mm, I have a question for Mr. Fully Lover. Oh, holy puppet. What is that billboard you're holding in your hands? Oh, mother of puppets. Fine, you won, Mr. Fully Lover. The floor is yours. You may speak about your precious tigers. Thanks for your question, Bob. My billboard is a reminder for everyone that tigers are in danger of extinction. There are more tigers in American private zoos than in the wildlife all over the world. To put this into perspective, the number of tigers in Asia has dropped from 100,000 at the beginning of the 20th century to 3,200 today. It's a disaster. There are multiple organizations and funds that support tiger conservation in the wildlife, such as World Puppet Animal Protection Organization, World Wildlife Fund, and of course, Leonardo DiCaprio's foundation. All of these organizations fight for the rights of animals to live freely and safely on their planet. However, Netflix's Tiger King concentrates only on the lives of people who kept the poor tigers in prison. All of those people claim that they are doing the right thing. However, they aren't. Watching their lives reminds me of reading celeb gossip in tabloids. You know, Bob, I've said a lot about animal protection, and I can see how much I've annoyed Mr. Scoffer. I only have one question left for everyone. How do you feel being on lockdown now, dear viewers? Now we all can get a taste of how bad wild animals feel being locked up in a cage for their entire lives. If we don't realize that keeping tigers in cages is harmful for them, if we don't support their lives in the wild, there won't be any tigers in the next century at all. I hope that answered your question, Bob. Oh, that was very informative and deep. I never knew how big this problem was. Thanks a lot, Mr. Fully Lover. I'm your biggest fan. Not yours, though, Mr. Scoffer. Thanks, Bob. I don't like you either. Wait, that was it? That was all you wanted to say, Mr. Fully Lover? Yep. Huh. Looks like I could indeed let you talk for a few minutes. Looks like indeed you could, sir. And it was quite a speech, I must say. Great job, Mr. Fully Lover. Not that bad for a regular tiger in the cage, huh? Look, Mr. Fully Lover, I have to apologize for comparing you to a tiger in a cage. I went a little too far with that one. And I shouldn't have said that the show is mine and mine alone. It's... actually, it's ours. I'm... <clears throat> sorry. I didn't want to offend you. No, it's fine. Actually, you know what? I kind of liked your comparison. You did? In a way, yes. Oh, is it because I'm as charismatic as the Tiger King? And because you create a perfect exotic background for the show? <laughs> no, 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 of course not. Because in the very last episode of Tiger King, it becomes clear that Joe Exotic has always been afraid of the big cats. Which is a great irony, isn't it? The Tiger King actually fears the tigers. Wait a second. Are you implying that I'm afraid of you? Okay, I gotta go, sir. Don't you dare hang up on me, Mr. Footy Lover.
Bye.